How's it going? I'm Zach. What's up? I'm Nick. We're Lost in Society, and we are with live music, T.O. Warp Tour has been awesome so far. We joined on July 5th in St. Louis, and it was 106 degrees out, and we were not ready for that, but it was still really cool, and you know, we've met a lot of great people. We hung out with Rise Against the first couple days they were on the tour and became pretty pretty close with them over the course of a few days. And yeah, what do you got to say? It's hot. It's all, yeah, it's all. The food's really good. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been an amazing time. Uh, the drives have been tiring. We don't have a driver. We don't have an AC in our van. But, you know, it's still a great time. And uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything else. After Rise Against played their last set, they actually invited us um, up on stage to sit behind the stage and watch them play. And Zach, after their set, came up to us when we were just standing over to the side, the guitarist, and he just like talked to us for a half hour, gave us a big pep talk about the music industry and not giving up, and like what his life was like, like growing up and doing the whole music thing. It's pretty inspirational. It's really awesome to have some guy who has like everything that he wants. He's in this like one of the biggest bands in the world right now, and he took the time to talk to us without us being like, hey, hey, like he came over to us and. That was my favorite moment. Yeah, I'm in the same, same boat as that one. That was, that was awesome. It was surreal. Same. I've never really been too starstruck, but definitely, like, oh, that's cool. I just met that guy. Like, it'll happen afterwards. Like, I'll have a normal conversation with somebody like Tim from Rise Against or any of the dudes of Street Light Manifesto or um, Nick was sitting, like, a foot away from the dudes from Yellow Card. And you just have conversations with these people and they've sold hundreds of thousands of records and then you don't really notice it because they're just a normal person and they treat you like it. And then a half hour later they'll be like, oh, I just talked to that guy. Yeah. Like five years ago I'd be like, what? Oh my God, I just talked to that guy. Well, like, that's crazy. Uh, one day um, I was eating lunch and I sat down and I was like, oh, can I sit here? There's some guy. I didn't realize who it was at first. And we started talking and uh, he was talking about his first Warp Tour. And I was like, oh, what band are you in? He's like, well, I'm not in a band anymore, but I used to be in Thursday. And I just looked at him and I was like, oh, my God, you're Jeff Rickley. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty funny. You never knew who you were going to run into. Yeah. It's pretty cool. The key factor of having a successful Warped Tour is definitely hard work. And promotion. You know, promotion. Um, get your name out there any way you can. Put up signs everywhere. Give out stickers or their set time. Um, have people come over and listen to your music. Um, just and always, whether there's one person watching at the start of your set, or 100 people, or a thousand people, give it the same show, because we started sets with zero people in front of us and ended it with like 150, and it's it's been great, it's been awesome, and you know then there's sets that you're playing to 10 people, but those are just as good. You'll sell more merch sometimes those days than with 200 people watching you. So I mean, always play the same way, same energy and promote, promote, promote. No way out. Um, I, I think as far as Warp Tour goes, we definitely make sense of war with what Warp Tour, kind of the direction they used to go, with like more just straight punk rock, like Pennywise, The Bouncing Souls, you know, no effects. I mean, we're, we're very like straightforward, we're a three-piece punk band, like alternative punk with like grunge influence. And I, I think the people who were like loved the roots of the Vans Warp Tour and where it started could really get into us. We've had a bunch of people come up to us and say, "Oh, I feel like I was back at Warp Tour in '99 when all these bands were on it." So, I mean, if you're into just straight up punk rock with three dudes, a bass, a guitar, and drums, and a singer, I think you'll dig it. Um, after Warp Tour. We have this thing called Upstart Fest. It's a four-day punk festival. There's a date in New York City, upstate New York, um, New Jersey, and Connecticut. A bunch of punk bands like Far From Finish, The Independents, Us, American Pin Up, Jukebox Romantics. Um, that's going to be pretty cool. And that's been getting a lot of press so far. Then we have a documentary coming out that our friend in college put together. A bunch of music videos for the new album, Let It Sail, that came out last month. And um, probably sometime in the fall, we're going to do this route but just 
like a little more straightforward and just hit all the cities that we just did from Warp Tour and see if like, you know, to keep the buzz going. And so hopefully within this next year, Toronto will see us again. I would hope so.